they always say that you should uh, you should always be in rooms with people smarter than you. And I have the distinction of being the only poet who never published a book. So I think I'm on the right path. Right? <laughs> so, um, all right. They beat the garbage bags with stickball bats in the morning. They do this to give the rats fair warning before trash gets tossed into the empty mouths of the garbage trucks as the full belly rats scurry home. Victor lives on, Victor lives on Christie Street near Delancey. Gentrification has yet to evict him, has yet to receive those tax breaks real estate development companies now enjoy those economic insults slipped into obscure tax legislation like a date rape drug, like the crime bill several years ago hidden in plain sight. This is still a place where teenage boys drink 40s, watch prostitutes hone their craft on park benches, like wilted flowers, like rolling paper at the bodega. These peep shows are always on sale. Anything was better than going to Victor's house. Those rats scurried in front of his doorstep back and forth until you got up the nerve, until you timed it just right. Hopscotched into the scarred mouth of his building, busted lip and all, timed it just right. Missed that stray bullet, that drug dealer's sales pitch, that crooked cop stare. Wrote your name in gold letters, hanging limp at the end of a gold rope chain that resembled a noose. Wore your name on belt buckles, as long as your name was short enough to fit your body, not be too descript, couldn't mean as much as it should. And Norman became Norm, Andrew whittled down to Drew. And because I came of age before crack cocaine sullied the fine reputation of junkies, before super predators had been brought to heel, all of this was survivable. The private prisons were just being built. Third grade reading levels didn't predict how many beds should be made. Special education did not dangle our children somewhere around somebody else's bottom line. The judge's gavel not made mandatory, standardized exams at in-school suspension or Ritalin. If the opportunity presents itself, did not detain our imagination, did not turn us into zombies who walk from the streets into prisons without the proper training, without knowing how to time our jump over rats that scurry from blackboards to boardrooms, from red ink to black bodies, and all of this in the light of day while many of us sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs>